everyone, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to embed LinkedIn profile post into your website using your shovel kit and the website builder WordPress. So uh, without further ado, we're going straight to that tutorial. So the profile we are going to use for today is my profile. So here it is. And the first things first, we're going to the Sociable Kit official website. So here it is. It is the URL is sociablekit.com. So and in here, if you guys haven't created any account yet, you can always sign up for free in this button by clicking this button and this button too. And if, if you guys already have created your account, you can click this login button, which I will do because I already have my account. And from here, we are going to put our email and password. And now, we are at the creation of widget screen. So in here, I can, uh, sometimes the screen will not be here or the creation of widget page will not show up. So it will show you a different page. So if you guys want to go to the creation of widget, just go to the top right of your screen and click this button, create widget button. And if you click this, it will always redirect you back to the creation of widget. So now we're going to click this drop down list and we're going to search or find the uh, LinkedIn profile post. So here it is. And in here, it requires us to put our LinkedIn profile ID. So what is our LinkedIn profile ID? So the LinkedIn profile ID is actually this, the one that I highlighted without the backslash here. Here it is. So you can copy this or you can also copy the whole URL. It will automatically convert to the ID. So I'm going to copy the whole code or the whole URL. And in here, I'm going to post or going to paste it. So if you guys still haven't, hasn't, or I don't know, uh, what is the profile ID, you can click this, watch this button, and it will show you what is the profile ID. So we're going to click next. And in here it says syncing, syncing LinkedIn profile posts. So it says here syncing usually takes a few minutes, but might take up to 12 hours. So it depends on the data or information or the content of your profile, uh, it will take hours or, or or what we are expecting a few minutes so it says it also says here that the social book it will send you an email once the link in profile post is widget is ready so uh, if, you, if you guys uh, just if you if you can guys just chill or relax and do some things you can go eat or anything you guys want while it is syncing up and it also says here that if you think there is a problem or if, if, it, if you think it it's taking too long so for example you it takes like it's already has been 24 hours and it's still link, linking up or syncing up you can, you can chat the support here and they will uh, we will try to solve your problem so we're going to click this i understand and i will see you guys oh never mind it, it says it, it already loaded up so here is my profile post so here is my three profile posts so I, I only have three uh, at the moment so here it is so everything that I posted here is seen in this so everything is good so now to the uh, left side of our screen is the customization and the moderation tab so in here we're going to we're going through these tabs one by one. So first is the basic tab. You can name your widget. So if you can if you want to come back to it later, you can name it so you know what widget is what widget is this. So now in here in the domain you can change the name of your website or the URL. So for example, I want it to be Sam uh, LinkedIn profile. So that's it that's my that is my domain and now the thing I'm going to say changes and now we're going to the themes so in this in this themes tab I can select any type of uh, color combination or default 
or built-in uh, color theme here. So if you select any of them, you can it will display the color combination that it will use to, and it will apply to your uh, profile or feed to your widget. So for example, I, I will click this Matino theme. So if I click this, it will it should change the background and overall. So here it is. Everything is changed. The color of my name, the background, and the color of my um, button. And now going to the profile, I can these check boxes. I can uncheck that if you want. To, if I want to hide it, if I want to hide my LinkedIn page name, if not, you can always uh, uh, save. You can always leave, leave this as is. And now uh, we're going to the post post tab. So in here, I can always change if I want it to be grid, masonry, or carousel. So in my, in my case, I want it to be grid So because I only have three posts at the moment. And I can, I uh, let's see, I want, I want it to be carousel. So I want it to be carousel just, in, uh, just for today's video. And now, a column count, I want it to be three. Post content padding, I think everything is uh, how I wanted it. So I'm going to save change. It should change to carousel. So let's see. So here it is. It changed to carousel. So everything is good. Next is the post item. So I so again I can uh, uh, this is uh, I can show the profile, link page, likes account, likes count. Next is the carousel. So I can change the color of the carousel if I want it to. Uh, Next is the color theme, so a colors tab. So in just in case in the tabs uh, in, in the themes tab, if you guys didn't like any of the built-in color theme, you can always manually change it. So the profile name, the background color, the font color, the link, and so on and, and so on. So here next is the pop-up. You can also change the color of it. And next is the font family. Uh, you can all you guys can change it so for example i want it to be Arial. Uh, the default font size i think that's good i'm going to say changes and it should change the font family here it is so it's now the font family is now at Arial. so next is the button tab so in the button tab i can always change the color of the button so the background color text color hover and the hover text color so uh, I'm not going to, to change anything in the back, in the buttons. I think I like it how it is. And now uh, I'm going to embed it. So going to the top right of our screen and this button, embed on website, we're going to click this. And here we are going to choose the website builder we are going to use. So in our case, we are going to use the WordPress. Um, now, it will display the step-by-step -step instruction on how to embed uh, your LinkedIn profile post into your web, uh, WordPress. So now we're going to do this. We're going to copy this code. And there it goes. It's copied now. And we're going now to the WordPress. So in the dashboard uh, in WordPress, we are going to scroll through pages and add new. And in this new uh, page, we have to add the title. So, for example, Sam Profile Posts. That's my title. So, uh, now we're going to uh, add the widget itself. So, we're going to add the widget itself here. So, the code here that we copied is we're going to paste here. So, we're not just going to paste here directly. We have to select a block first. So, for example, we're going to add a block. And we are going to find the custom HTML. So here it is. So if you guys didn't find it here in the preset, you can always search it in the search bar. So custom HTML. So here it is. And now from here, from, from here, we are going to paste. So always rem remember, guys, that you can change the uh, embed code to your visual code or you can change however you want it to. You, you can add some things. You can add some features or some CSS details. So it's up to you guys. So, and now all we have to do is just publish this page. So we're going to publish it, and it's now published, and we're going to view it. So let's see if it actually uh, will 
here it is. So here is my uh, post. Here is my link and my profile post. So it, it is in the uh, carousel um, carousel layout. So I can click this button and it should it switches out the posts. And now everything is in here. So everything that I customize is saved and sent in here. So as you can see, everything works from the color of the background, the font color, the uh, the pictures, the posts, it works, the uh, pop-ups, and the button. So if I click this button, let's see if it works. And it works, it went straight or it redirected straight to my profile. So everything is good and everything is how we wanted it. So uh, that's all really and that is very easy and straightforward. I hope you guys learned something and I learned I hope you guys Wanted more if you guys want more tutorials about different kinds of widget in different kinds of website builder You can guys check our um, YouTube channel it, it has a lot of tutor video tutorials and and you guys will learn a lot and Thank you guys for listening and always hit the link and subscribe button and ring the, door, uh, ring the bell so you guys know uh, the content if we are uploading new and uh, if you guys uh, want to uh, if you guys are interested in working with us or, or using our product and services you can uh, go to our official website and you can guys check or subscribe to one of our subscription plans so here is our subscription plans you can try it first so there is a free plan so it only has this features and the the starter kit plan and the business kit so everything is in here the details and information of each features of each subscription plan is here so that is all guys thank you for listening and i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video